थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ऑन अ ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ 420 ग्राम्स बड़े दिनों के बाद आए हैं ये तो आपको पता ही है ये हमारा पेट डायलॉग है हर शो की शुरुआत पे ऐसे ही बोलते हैं लेकिन जब आए हैं तो भाई देखो हैवी वेट्स लाए हैं ऐसा नहीं है कि दो यहाँ पे लुखे आपके सामने बैठ गए काले टी शर्ट पहन के आपके साथ भाई जो आपके इंडियन फुटबॉल की इको के शाइनिंग स्टार्स पीपल हु गिवन सो मच टू द गेम कंटिन्यू टू डू सो गौरव मंगी सिंह इज विद फॉर्मर इंडिया कैप्टन नाउ विद एफ सी गोवा Mangi, good to see you, bye. Floyd Pinto is with us. Uh, of course, he's been the head coach of India age group teams and now currently working with Odisha FC, making waves in the ISL as well. Mangi, Floyd, good to see the two of you. Thank you so much for taking our time and joining us. Nice, yeah, good to see you guys. Good to be Floyd, back. Have you been? Finally, after a long time. After a long time, uh, Floyd has also said the last thing, which everyone is saying. That if they come, then they don't see each other again. After that, they don't see each other again. भाई क्या हाल है ये हमने बातचीत तो करी थी कि दोनों काला पहन के आएंगे तो ये कैसे हो गया या मातम बना रहे हैं भाई सिंस and kahin na kahin na uh, after seeing the way india has played in those two world cup qualifiers one was kuwait away from home one nil win courtesy of a manveer singh strike and uh, the second one being a 3 nil loss to asian champions qatar in bhubaneswar and after seeing both those games kahin na kahin ek uh, positivity daud rahi hai ek fan ke dil mein at least and wo baat shuru ho gayi hai jo pehle kabhi hua nahi hai ki can we make it to the third round of world cup qualifiers if we make it to the third round of world cup qualifiers forget that you know hum world cup jayenge ya nahi jayenge wo chhod do par agar aap third round mein pahunche janab to aapko kareeban 8 se 9 muqable milenge versus top asian competition versus top asian sides away from home and at home so just imagine that that will be huge from in terms of picking up experience and also testing yourself amongst the best in asia mangi i'll start with you bhai जो आपने दो मुकाबले देखे टू डिफरेंट टीम्स आल्सो दैट प्लेड सम प्लेयर्स प्लेइंग इन कोवेद द अदर्स नॉट प्लेइंग वर्सेस ओडिशा एंड सम न्यू प्लेयर्स वर ट्राइड और द ओल्ड गाइस हु कम बैक लाइक उदांता सिंह एंड ऑल वर ट्राइड क्या दिखा भाई आपको इन टर्म्स ऑफ द इंडियन टीम डू यू डिड यू सी प्रोग्रेस फ्रॉम व्हाट यू सीन दिस टीम प्ले एट दिस स्टेज इन द पास्ट इन द वर्ल्ड कप क्वालिफायर्स यस यस बाय आई थिंक इट्स माय पर्सनल ओपिनियन बट ऑफ कोर्स आई थिंक द टीम प्ले इट quite quite a, with a lot of optimism a lot of uh, a lot of positive were there uh, you know since you had mentioned two matches over now for the qualifying matches and uh, mm. three points and the but yes yes a lot of positives and the, i think we can build from here uh, i think we just need to we just to build a very positive uh, atmosphere around the team that's what i feel and i hope that like, for example i was just watching uh, what uh, simon mentioned up to up to the up to the game like for example mm. he He wanted to use Manvi, for example, this game uh, in in Bhubaneswar, but it was mm. again uh, some muscle injuries, and he has to be you know out again. So I hope that uh, you know again the league matches are coming, you know, thick and thin in the, in a few in in a few you know weeks time. And yes. the, I hope I hope I don't know, uh, but I think that's part and parcel of the job as to do it. But again, maybe I'm talking from a very Indian fan, like you know Indian football, you know, I mean the team fan now. That I hope the team team stay healthy, and I hope that. ऑस्ट्रेलिया So there are a lot of positives again. That is what I said. I mean, we can we can talk more, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm very glad. Only thing is, my only uh, like yesterday, I was just like feel a little bad because mm. I felt uh, it's not just about the the three goals that we have conceded, but I felt you know I don't know how much uh, I, I don't know Floyd will agree with me also because so many uh, results in the league uh, that are you know uh, you know turn uh, you know uh, turn around results are happening right the last few you know in 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 the league as well. And exactly about managing the small details again, like we considering the first minute or the second, I think one and a half minutes again. Yeah, corner. both halves. I think first five minutes you considered. Yeah. Then again, the forty-fifth minute, uh, like basically about managing those 
you know, details again. Uh, and even in the first goal, it's not the first action again, it's the second action again. I think, you know, how can we, you know, uh, like those little manage probably could have, just imagine if we were like 0 0 or even say 1 1, when we had two good, good chances towards the end yes. of the first half. And uh, probably they would have put some kind of pressure to Qatar as well, pressure in a sense that, you know, they might be not as free as, like, you know, when it comes to the way how they think, the way how we approach, because hmm. of course they are. Let's put it that way. Uh, as much as we don't want to say it loud, out loud, but they are, they are definitely uh, you know a better side. But uh, India would have put uh, definitely uh, you know some some kind of pressure mentally as well when they walk in in the second half. Uh, but didn't happen. But I think probably this is a big deflection about managing those little details. Uh, you know, going mm -hmm. strong in the first minutes or first few minutes, not giving away or considering those those I would say you know cheap goals. Uh, which we, yeah. I hope we, yeah, we should, uh, we should learn a big, big lesson from, from, from this. Yeah, movie. yeah, Floyd, Floyd, I think it's a great point that Mangi brings out because uh, I was replay the replay, sir, sitting there. The first thing is replay is this. If you talk about uh, Steam Ad Sahib's team, ki aap baat kare, um, I think Floyd has got hung. So hopefully we'll get him back on good Wi-Fi. But Mangi, you made a good point, bhai, because one mm -hmm. highlight of this team, and let's say from mm -hmm. that Tri-Nation journey, Till now, mm -hmm. was that when this team was playing against whoever it might be, higher opposition or opposition around you or a little better than you, was that they were controlling mm -hmm. those first 10-15 minutes of both halves. They were starting really strong. Unlike yeah. versus Qatar, where yeah. in the first five minutes you conceded, then again in the second half, initially as soon as mm -hmm. the game started, you conceded. Corners aapne itne concede kiye. Corners concede chalo aapne kar liye wahan pe. But corners mein marking dekh rahe the bhai. As a defender, mm -hmm. आप तो कह रहे हो कि वेयर इज द मार्किंग मार्किंग थोड़ी कम दिख रही है मार्किंग तो आपके हाथ में एट द एंड ऑफ द डे आई हैव यू नो व्हाट इफ यू सी द फर्स्ट हाफ फॉर एग्जांपल आई थिंक इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग यू नो आई थिंक वी हैव कंसीडर्ड दैट सम एट कॉर्नर्स बट लाइक आई रिमेंबर यू नो यू नो बॉब यूज्ड टू से आई मीन यू नो दोस डेज व्हेन आई वाज प्लेइंग एज वेल दैट द बेस्ट वे टू डिफेंड द सेट पीस इज नॉट टू गिव अवे दोस इफ इट्स इफ पॉसिबल इट्स नॉट इजी बिकॉज़ यू गोना कंसीडर सम बेस्ट सेट पीस ड्यूरिंग द गेम बट एज मस or as less as possible if you can give away then you don't have to defend those, those, those set pieces so i mean understandable they are putting a lot of pressures but at the same time like i said i think we did quite okay okay in a sense uh even the goal that we have considered we did at least we we, we defended the first action then the second action then the second third action plan we need to get the ball out of the danger as soon as possible those are the little i guess uh and if you see the opposite side of it the way how um we quickly we go back to the first goal like the monday score Beautiful pass goal. from yeah, but this is a five touches to the you know like Gurpreet to uh, uh to to Rahul you know to Rahul to Akash Akash to uh, you know then Akash to I think Mahesh uh, Mahesh no Akash to Pujar no it was not it was, it was, to, uh, it was from the Pujari. left side no, uh, yeah it was on the left yeah. side so it was a Gurpreet to uh, uh Gurpreet to Vike Vike to Akash Akash to Chanke Chanke throws yeah, and Madhvi yeah. finish so sometimes I think the goals are. You just don't need to do a lot of things, right? And I think uh, you know those moments if you can, you know, because we are we are able of uh, we are we are capable of doing those or you know or creating those chances and also again mm. uh, scoring those those goals. So the other things again in the opposite end again that those little details that you know how we consider that if we can manage that in in the coming matches, I think I'm sure yeah. that we should we should do we should do well and should do better. Floyd, you were in the stadium in Bhubaneswar. Um, was that something that was coming across your mind as well, uh, despite the fact that there were moments when they showed good control in the game, but that you've conceded so many corners and while conceding the corners, also the marking in the corners uh, left a lot to be desired because at the end of the day, when you're playing versus an Australia and Uzbekistan, this is in your hand. Control of the game will be with them, but marking and all that is in your hand in that sense. Yeah, but also the 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 disappointing thing was that, uh, or something that was uh, which we don't usually see is we conceded in the early parts of oh, both yes. the half. And like uh, Goromangi said, uh, you know, you sometimes you uh, you don't mind if you concede in the first action of the corner kick. You may lose a man, uh, or may they they may have a really good routine. But if you but if you concede in the second third phase when you let the ball bounce in your box a couple of times. That's when you kind of feel okay. The players are maybe not at it, or maybe there are some nerves at the start. Uh, mm -hmm. So that that was that was the only what I would say blip in uh, in in over the two performances. Uh, and given the changes that he made, 
uh, you could sense okay there might be a little bit of apprehension uh, with the mm. players who are playing because you get used to defending with a certain group of players in that position and uh, you know they kind of it, it gets it's an automated movement okay i i need to be in this zone at this point of time for this set piece you need to mask this player so mm. it's 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 uh, i wouldn't say uh, it, after a long time i've seen us concede this early and this easily uh, yeah. but i think uh, i think they'll they uh, they'll work upon it for sure in the coming games definitely positives gameplay abuya yeah. the way they're moving at least from that uh, so if, if i'm breaking the pitch in four parts uh, the earlier indian team that i saw playing versus a qatar uh, away or wherever it might be is that aapne wo apne last half ka jo quarter hai wahan se aapne ball jay mata di let's rock kar diya aapne उसके बाद देखी जाएगी जो होगा जो बॉल आगे किसी हाथ में गिर गई पैर पे गिर गई तो आप निकल गए एटलीस्ट वर्स इन भुवनेश्वर व्हाट आई सॉ इफ यू आर ब्रेकिंग इट इन योर ओन हाफ का दोस टू हाफ्स यू हैड कंट्रोल इन वन एंड टू यू वर कंट्रोलिंग दैट व्हेनेवर यू हैड मूवमेंट्स यू वर कंट्रोलिंग द गेम यू ब्लेइंग इट फॉरवर्ड देन ऑफ कोर्स हाउ वुड हैव ट्रांसफॉर्म इनटू और ट्रांसेंड इनटू दैट थर्ड हाफ एंड द फोर्थ हाफ तो बहुत कम देखा आपने पर थर्ड हाफ भी आल्सो कंसिस्टेंसी थोड़ा कम था बट आई थॉट दैट वाज प्रोग्रेस so that you have guys like apuya suresh um uh, thapa as well who were moving around really well and they were connecting well with the guys on the wing for me all you have to see is the performance of us in the first game against qatar where we drew 0-0 the the one where we played away and this performance i think there was a vast difference in the way we played even in the second half when we came on uh, you could see that you know the boys have got some kind of harsh words in the dressing room and they were pressing mm. from the front they were trying to force yeah. uh the play and to be honest we got really good chances to score i think the the chance yes, that tapa got usually he he buries that you know on any given day the the time that i have worked with him he's put those balls in the back of the net surprise he went for the outlaw for that yeah. exactly yeah exactly he may have felt some contact on the other side hmm. so hmm. felt he was going to get uh, you know clobbered from the other side but there were quite a few uh, occasions mm-hmm. where i felt like you know he should have tested the target the one that's the chance that sahal got i thought he could have tested the goalkeeper he went for the right angle mm-hmm. and maybe we could have got that second ball if off the goalkeeper's parry so there were glimpses of uh, you know uh, positivity and i think that's that's uh, that's progress for me i'm 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 in no way uh, disappointed over the two performances we got the all important three points away from home and uh, we went toe to toe with kuwait uh, you know for a man to man kuwait were man to man oriented pressing oriented against us and uh, i think in the second and they worked on that at half time because in the second half the goal that we scored was from a build up at the back using the space that was uh, uh, available to us because of a man to man press you know uh, running off the ball so i think that was uh, really good so the team shows uh, what i like is the team has developed or evolved in their style of play both on and off the field but more importantly at half time when we come on in the second half there's a visible change uh, the, the 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 analysis what goes on at half time there's a visible change and hmm. we are more effective in second halves you know with respect to what the opposition is doing whether they are pressing us man to man whether they are pressing us high whether they're going to have the ball longer so that's good to see that you know through the game of the 90 minutes we keep evolving and we keep getting better over the 90 minutes as well so that's good great great yeah great insights from both mangi and floyd any bhai because uh, hum log bhubaneswar pe ja rahe hain because it's fresh in our memory right now hali mein khatam hua hai and acha bhi khel hai ladke hai wahan pe but it must be said and for all the time that you followed indian football um, that result in kuwait was possibly one of the biggest results you've got in i don't know how long not just because you beaten kuwait chalo we know we can beat kuwait unko khela hai yahan pe matlab aaye with na kafi time se aur aapne yeah. game bhi dekha to aap game manage kar rahe the aisa nahi tha ki kuwait game chala raha tha itna wahan pe but kuwait mein ja ke gulf mein ja ke bhai result lena bahut tagda result tha wo yaar yeah 100% bhai and i think uh, full marks to the fans also who showed up to make it feel like uh, you know we're playing at home like mm-hmm. like it's a home game yeah absolutely all the noise all, all the all the cheering everything for despite the efforts i think there were few fans who wrote in to us uh, you know before the game and all of that saying that uh, the federation is trying whatever they can do to make sure that you know the indians are not dominating the stadium but mm-hmm. uh, despite all of those efforts uh, 
what were they trying to do acha they're trying to hold tickets or something so initially it was free entry apparently uh, for uh, for the game kuwaiti federation uh, right the 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 kuwaiti the home federation yeah the host mm-hmm. federation and and uh, obviously given the numbers and the fact that it's you know a, a lot of people from uh, you know like a, a lot of people from kerala for example are mm-hmm. there who follow the sport follow the team mm-hmm. they don't get to see the national team very often so obviously everyone will want to come come out and watch the game uh, so all of the tickets were kind of uh, basically all All, all the indians uh, grabbed all the tickets so then they tried to make one away stand where only about 5000 uh, would get to watch hmm. uh, but e- even that didn't work out in the end uh, like like we saw so yeah. so yeah uh, a lot of it down to the support yeah, and and uh, you know just just uh, going on from some of the insights that floyd and and mangi uh, already shared with us It's great to see the team going in with that mindset, being able to adapt to what other teams are bringing, and and get results where yeah, in game, uh, in, in game, basically you're you're adapting here. Yeah. 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 So, so and and this, um, I guess, uh, as the coach and the staff get more and more time with the group of players, mm-hmm. right? It's a set group of players, more or less. Uh, who are part of the national team camps and all of that unka bhi understanding uh, improve ho raha hai uh, in these cases having played kuwait of course like you were saying a couple of times in the recent past all those things help but mm-hmm. still you have to go out there and on the day that matters it's a competitive game now it's not just a friendly right being a world cup qualifier so there's pressure yeah there's pressure on the coaching staff there's pressure on the players to to you know get the job done there's pressure on mm-hmm. on them to justify uh, so often now uh, what they're doing back home and and how those results then translate into the national team so so it's good to see the team making some of that happen um and the second game to lots of positives of course uh, we've discussed uh, most of the negatives as well uh, yeah. it would have been great if we got got, got a goal or two i think apoya also uh, to add to the two two chances that floyd yeah. was talking about Uh, apuya also at the end of a move where we again built up really well uh, we managed yeah. to get into the final third get into the box and okay a little bit of luck right in that final ball that came across to him but when it mm. did uh, in that position uh, just to have the composure to at least make the goalkeeper do some work and then and then when we have so many boys up in that final third or or that final part of the pitch then second ball you never know where it goes and and you know something might happen uh so so th- those little things um obviously we need to get better at uh and especially against these these teams where chances do teen chance aapko agar game mein mil gaya to kafi acha kar rahe hain matlab aap par bhai aap aapne notice kiya hai dono games mein hamare jo pavan putra hanuman hai wo itna involve nahi the games mein and for me that is progress again Yeah, yeah. सर अब आपके चार पांच बंदे आ गए हैं अक्रॉस द पिच हुआ बिल्डिंग अप दैट प्ले एंड लाइक फ्लॉइड मेंशन देयर इज एन इंटेंसिटी टू हाउ यू अटैक वी आर नॉट द टाइप ऑफ टीम जो बॉल चलाएगा स्लोली स्लोली हमारा अटैक होगा तीन चार मूव वाला ही अटैक होगा हमारा फ्रॉम हाफ टू दैट गोल जो वो मनवीर yeah. वाला गोल में आपको दिखा विथ ट्रांजेक्शन जितना जल्दी कर सके उतना वो मेन स्ट्रेंथ तो वहां पे है Uh, and I think जैसे कतर वाले गेम में मनवीर अगर फिट होता अवेलेबल होता सिलेक्शन के लिए तो सुनील स्टार्ट नहीं करता वो गेम लेफ्ट राइट so so and also given sunil's uh, i guess age nahi keh sakte experience kahenge usko to usko bata ke rakhne aap ki wo impact maximize karne ke liye aap rakh rahe hain na ki agar you get into a game uh, maybe 60 minutes or so when uh, after you have worn down the opposition Nein, a bit bhai aap kha jaoge usse par i don't believe in that bhai bhai us bande ko he is a front and center for 20 years or how many ever years that he's been playing उसको सडनली दो महीने पहले आपने या तो या तो आप एक साल से करो ये आदत पड़े यू नो मेंटली कोशिश तो कर ही रहे हैं ना भाई जब जब कोई फिट होता है उसकी जगह खेलने के लिए अनफॉर्चुनेटली 
वो अगर आप एक खिलाएंगे आगे तो प्रोबेबली मनवीर इज द ओनली ऑप्शन दैट यू हैव आई वुड स्टिल बैक सुनील 100% एटलीस्ट इन द एशियन कप आफ्टर एशियन कप आपको जो करना है प्रोग्रेशन करो जो करना है एशियन कप का हर गेम खिलाओ भाई मैं तो कह रहा हूँ उससे मैंने एक हाल ही में एक चैट करी थी मंगी फ्लॉइड एंड आई आस्ट हेम आई सेड सो वी वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट योर एज ही सर यस ओके वी वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट माई एज ऐसे बट यू नो दैट यूर टूवर्ड्स दी एंड नाउ सो हाउ डू यू वॉन्ट टू मैनेज विद इट कीपिंग इन माइंड योर एशियन कप ही सेट भाई मेरे को हर गेम खेलना है हर मिनट खेलना है जिस दिन मेरा बॉडी एंड बनाए कांट परफॉर्म टू माई बेस्ट इन द प्रैक्टिस ठीक है आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट बट जब तक मुझे कोई बोलेगा नहीं कि आप बैठो मैं तो तैयार हूं खेलने के लिए और पोजीशन वैसी ना मंगी भाई पोजीशन hmm. वैसी है कि गोल के सामने yeah. खेलते रहना है खेलते रहना है नहीं तो वो थोड़ा hmm. वो कम हो जाएगा यू नो द पोटेंटनेस पोटेंसी इन फ्रंट ऑफ गोल uh at the, like like he said you know recently when you know we were talking about it like you know just this other stuff as well and i was like i don't want to talk about as or because the kind of competitiveness he brought probably or he brings in the in the dressing room or you know he's he's ready to compete with those boys like you know i could hmm. see like in you know, some of the pictures even in social media you could see like in the bangalore for example or some of the even in the warm up uh he is always he wanted to be always in the front so you know that that hmm. that that kind of uh I think that was also Pira, now that he is still there. That, huh? that he is hunger, there, hunger. That hung, hunger is still there. That hunger is still yeah. there. That he he still wants to he wants to feel a uh, push. He wants to feel challenge, and that is there. Long as I think uh, hey, then I understand that other thing is also like for example, as you as you age up, pura aaja hai. Then the hmm. sometimes your muscles, your body uh, react differently in terms of recovery or in terms of lot of other things as well. But long as He is keeping a very very strict diet. He's like you know he's he's, he's sleeping hours, his his food and everything. So I see that you know though he's thirty nine, but I see that uh, you know the body seems. He said that yeah, it's not the same, but uh, you know the body is more or less following uh, you know uh, following him or the way how he wanted to perform. Uh, like it's easy. Like look, so you see so many players. I keep saying this also. Like when you are twenty, nineteen, twenty, and you see one player. Uh, you know, or young boy like nineteen, nineteen. He, I understand. Sometimes you can have a muscle pull and all, but it, that becomes part of your game. That you know, you are always out for some muscle strain or muscle. Then I, I see that uh, you know, it's, you can definitely uh, you know, if you look after yourself well, then I, I don't see that you should be going through that at the age of nineteen twenty, yeah. unless you are an exception already. Jin, yeah, so you know, from the family, you you have uh, your muscle is not uh, the strongest mm-hmm. one. Or that I understand it, but. <clears throat> By thirty-five to thirty-nine, I understand. I know, but at the moment, I see that Sunil is Sunil is coping with that. Uh, you know, yeah, even the yeah. he has, he's not running as much as you know uh, the twenty-five years old is doing. But at the same time, he's uh, you know uh, in phases. He's, he's you know when to run, when to stop. But at the moment, I don't see that we have anyone to replace him. Yes, Manpreet is very very good. I, I you know happy, strong, athletic, powerful. We don't have too mm-hmm. many uh, you know uh, of that of that stature. Uh, you know, Manpreet. But it's good. Like I said again, at some point Sunil will go and uh, you know other boys without Sunil. Let's say for example, I think that is what Sunil is trying to do, right? That uh, to see like eleventh players without Sunil and how do they perform? You know what I'm saying? Because at some yeah. point Sunil will go and these boys need to continue, uh, you know, carrying forward the hmm. for the Indian team. So yeah, whether we do it now, whether we do it after Asia Cup, it's it's a it's, it's a part. Of, I don't think the team will do it, but uh, hmm. you know, hmm. we need to keep trying. I think you know, in phases, man. Yeah. सर सर राइट्स हो जाएंगे अगर एशियन कप से पहले हुआ पर uh, क्योंकि फ्लॉयड मैं आई टेल यू ही सम नाइस हेडेक्स नाउ कोच ही इज इन अ गुड स्पेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाउ टू पिक हिज इलेवन जनरली यू सी हाउ ही प्लेज वेदर ही इज प्लेइंग लोअर ऑपोजिशन ऑपोजिशन नियर हिम और हायर रैंक टीम लाइक कतर ही इज प्लेइंग फोर फाइव वन यू गॉट द थ्री इन द मिडल एंड देन यू गॉट टू अराउंड देम एंड यू गॉट वन गाय इन फ्रंट आई एम गेसिंग आई एम सो आई एम सेंग सुनील इज कंटिन्यूंग नाउ अप फ्रंट But now you got some selection headaches. Says, do you persist with Changte? Do you put Manveer? Do you persist with Mahesh, who's looked so good in his short international spell, but so impactful and so eventful um, international spell? Plus, who are your three in the middle? So he's got a few good options to choose from in terms of how to set up going forward. Yeah, the the first thing with uh, what uh, Karomangi and you were saying about Sunil as well. having observed the game today uh, you know the 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 involvement of us pressing from the front i think he is plays such a pivotal role the first player on yeah. the press 
is always the most important thing. You know, usually if you see uh, oppositions breaking us down or breaking the opposition down is when the striker allows the center backs to kind of dribble with the ball and play that yep. uh, you know, pass, uh, you know, without any pressure. But he did that so well. I think the Tapa chance, I think he chased down the goalkeeper yeah, and a couple yeah. of players before he got the before he got the ball to Thapa. Uh, every throw in, every uh, stoppage of play, he was always encouraging the wingers to press the, the the wing backs and not to drop and kind of you know make a two v one with the with the left backs and the right backs. He was encouraging everybody to play one v one and win your one v one battles. Even when he was going off, and Rahul KP was coming on. There was a nice image of him holding Rahul KP's hand to say that go on the player who is throwing the ball. You know, uh, you, you couldn't see that in the image, but you could see that in the play. Even when he was going off, he was like, KP, you need to be on the ball there, press there. Mm-hmm. So that's the influence that he brings it. So apart from the goals, apart from his experience, we need that up front. And I don't think any other player in the team gives that role in the number nine position at this point of time. You know, that overall game, that experience. Uh, and apart from that, I think that the team that he now with all the injuries that have happened around, I think the team that has played uh, against Kuwait is his first team. I don't think him. I oh, don't you think see so? any change in that. I don't. I don't see any changes in that lineup. Chante. Uh, Chante. The only change. What's happening with Chante? I think is uh, you know when it comes to the physicality, uh, especially uh, going up and down, especially <clears throat> defending during set pieces. I think he'll prefer having a Manbir and bringing mm. on Chante. At a later stage, or maybe okay. Chante starting with Mahesh and then Mahesh coming on at a later stage, because yeah. Manvir I think is irreplaceable, irreplaceable when it comes to playing against the bigger size. Because what he changed? The... Right? Because uh, he was he's been out of the team for so long. There was a time when we got used to it. Ki Manvir to ab nahi hai is team mein. Uh, playing eleven mein to dekhega nahi aayega. To jab bhi aayega, thoda bahut bench se dekhenge ya as that lone striker role mein dekhenge. But suddenly a turnaround se dikhaya hai Manvir ko lekar. No, but I think always in big games, Manvir has always been there on the yeah. wing. I think in the qualifiers for the Asia Cup as well, he's played on the wing. I think Ashik, if he would have been there, would have also played. Yeah. Uh, I think I think for sure he would have played. So uh, you know, he, uh, you have to find that balance between uh, technical ability that we require on the ball and the physical aspect as well. And uh, uh, it goes, it, you know, you don't even need to mention the physical demands that that uh, that. That uh, you know is uh, uh, put forth to the players, and everyone's mm. setting that bar really high. So, yeah, true. so I think the, the game against Kuwait was possibly his. Uh, given all the injuries, I, I would I would definitely Anwar would make the team if he was there. Uh, I think mm. Jackson would uh, replace uh, uh, Apuya if he. If, no, I think he would replace Apuya if he was there. You think so? Uh, I think so. Because uh, no, Jackson tec- technical ability he looked so good that boy on the turn. Um, exactly, turn Jackson's doing, Jackson has been doing that as well. Ever since Jackson has been playing for Kerala Blasters in a two midfield, he's been doing that role as well. You know, not just sitting and holding, he's been able to brush off defenders and play that forward progressive passes as well. So it's a headache, hmm. but hmm. I think he would have selected uh, uh, Jackson because uh, Suresh is more important because he's very mobile. So yes, yeah. you cannot replace Apuya or Jackson with Suresh because Suresh is a different profile of a player in that midfield, and he could mm-hmm. cover up for a Sahal who's playing in a number ten position or playing on the other side. So I think it's between Jackson and Apuya, but now it's it's not a question at all. So I think it, it's mm-hmm. it, the, the team against Kuwait. I think is a settled side. It's a mm-hmm. side that knows exactly what needs to be done on and off the ball, and they proved it against Kuwait. So if if uh, he's only going to improve on that. That's what I. On, on, a, on a side note, Floyd, how happy are you that that under seventeen bunch is now really having an impact on the senior team? Mm-hmm. That even if these senior boys leave, you know these five six boys are going to be carrying this team forward. So in a sense, it's a celebration of the system as well, an ad hoc mm-hmm. system. But jin ladko ko aapne tayar kiya, they are now you know they crossed over to that final hurdle in a sense. It's it's no surprise, uh, Arjun, because I, I would say 99% of the players coming into the national team or playing in the senior national team have come through the Arrows project. Mm-hmm. And now with that project not being disbanded and even the AF Academy is now not uh, uh, being run, I think the supply chain to the under-16s, to the under-19s is going to be under real pressure because mm. uh, the onus on the clubs and uh, and unless the clubs can you know produce 
that level of players because it's going to be the same problem for the under 16 and under 19 coaches as Tmac is having right now because yeah. if the players are not going to be of that level physically technically or more so physically uh, mm. when you come into the camp maybe 3 4 days or a week prior to a tournament even saf you know it's going to be a very difficult challenge for the coach to produce the results that we expect them to perform at the youth level you know so so that's going to be the challenge moving forward so it's definitely going to be interesting times ahead for the national youth teams and mm. it's going to be uh, you know uh, interesting to see who from that next batch of young players breaks into the breaks into the team because there are quite a few from the under 23 batch with uh, Clifford who are mm. you know on the verge maybe of uh, having a, a good season or two of consistent performances maybe to get an eye into the national team so that that looks to be the next group but after that i don't see any player or any group of players as, as of this point of time who could maybe hmm. you know knock the doors of the national team वैसे एनी भाई आपके जो दोस्त हैं कोच साहब उनका ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड उनने मतलब कंसिस्टेंटली चल रहा है उन्होंने बोल ही दिया कि जी मेरे को एशियन कप के बारे में पूछो मेरे को कोई मायने नहीं रखता मैं आई विल फोकस ऑन द वर्ल्ड कप कॉल अपस बिकॉज़ एक्चुअली इफ यू इफ यू स्टेप बैक एंड यू ट्राई अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट ही इज सेइंग कि एज मच एज यू मे सपोर्ट एंड एज मेनी पॉजिटिव्स एज यू मे फाइंड विद दिस टीम एंड व्हिच इज नॉट रॉन्ग बिकॉज़ देयर आर गिविंग सो मेनी पॉजिटिव्स फॉर यू वी ऑल नो दैट पॉसिबली योर जर्नी विल एंड एट द एशियन कप आफ्टर दोस थ्री गेम्स विद रिगार्ड्स टू द क्वालिफायर्स इफ यू कैन मेक द थर्ड राउंड लाइक आई स्टार्टेड द शो then you get those 10 games 10 proper games home and yeah. away rather than playing in one neutral venue and so you keep coming together in season out season in season out season so that sense that is a solid place to really build your team going forward absolutely man we've been saying it from from the beginning as well that we that should be the objective uh, from the point of view of qualifying for to 2027 for the asian cup as well that's the most important thing and for the national team to get better you the national team has to play more games uh, so yeah i, I and, and unlike uh, sure maybe you can get friendlies and things like that but better teams yeah. are engaged in these qualifying tournaments now for most international windows uh, so the only way to play against better teams for the national team is to be involved as well uh, so so yeah that has to be the target and and with that win against kuwait the door is wide open for second place finish in the group uh, mm. happened... and with what's happening with afghanistan so you could get sixth there yeah yeah uh, you don't know for sure sure uh, i mean irrespective of what's happening in afghanistan you should get sixth there right mm. Uh, mm. good so, point yeah so uh, i mean that that should be the chance where you uh, look at options uh, of not playing sunil for example if mm. you want to see what's going to happen next and things like that we should be taking those games uh, from that perspective and also trying out what we do uh, against in the rare situation where we have teams that are either at the same level or slightly uh, may, may, maybe even weaker than us mm. uh, you know so so which otherwise won't happen mm. uh, but interesting thing i want to what i'm interested to ask you guys is if we do go forward whether it's looking at the asian cup or the third round of qualifiers what will be the game plan i don't uh, suppose the coach will go out uh, the way he did against qatar in bhubneshwar uh, that tournament approach uh, might be a bit different uh, what do you guys think how how will that pan out but but can can you bhai mangi bhai can you really afford to have any other plan mai to keh raha hu i think yahi aap ka ek plan sir ya to fir aapne wo punjab football <laughs> no, I think it's I think it's too early to speak about like you know how are we going to play in the third round or if we qualify to the second round in the Asia Cup. I think it's way I think too early to talk about it. But I think some positive as Boyd also mentioned a lot of you know things in details and you even mentioned about early we used to struggle like you know to progress from our side even if we break down our side into yeah. two like you know at least we control our close to the goal then we progress to the next yes. third. Then, and then we struggled. Of course, we struggled in Bhubanesh world. Like you know, we were like we were like at many phases where we flew this. You know, we don't know what to do. Like you know, once we enter the midfield chart, from there to progress, yes, it was it was very very hard. The chances that we created were from like the Sunil pressing. You know, then just one few moments. And but the good thing is that 
to create those moments, we need to believe in that. And I think that is what exactly is happening, the call that we got in Kuwait. So those moments will happen and we need to utilize that. There'll be like two, three, five moments, whether it's a whether it's in the pressing or they go, they make a mistake or the you know, those moments will happen. So we need to grab the chances. And the important is again managing what I feel is I don't know, I'm not talking about the third and you know, second round, I'm talking about like these coming up matches. And uh, again, those early minutes, those set pieces. I think we need to we need to really really manage this, uh, you know those, mm. those those details. Then I feel that we can we can be we can remain in the game, and see that when we have our chances, one or two chances, we can utilize it, and managing goals because if you see the goals we considered are mostly again, you know even the third goal we talked about, you know those are little close down, you know try to stop those crosses. Then again the two p two with you know those. I feel we sort of I don't know if you agree with me or I don't know, but. I think we defended quite okay first action, you know. I mean, I, they have a clear header, but still there's a one, you know, player with him, you know, being maybe they are more bigger or stronger, so they had a header. The question is, those second actions, those details, if you can manage it, I think it will probably will give us a, it will take us to a different, uh, different zone altogether. Let's put it that way. We will be uh, maybe a different team. This is what I might feeling is because against Australia, we are not going to have the position that we wanted, or we're not going to create as many chances that we wanted. So Uzbekistan, that, I believe, Uzbekistan also, even Syria is going to go complete Israel with tough, tough games, but hmm. we have to just believe in those few chances. We're going to get it when that comes our way. We need to, we need to be, we need to be very, very clinical and precise on that, you know, how we utilize it. And uh, then I think managing those details, I think probably because right now what I see is like, we cannot change our, uh, you know, physical dynamic of our boys. You know, I think they are in a good shape. Let's put it that way. That's why I said I hope they all come to January with a good, you know, healthy physically, mentally, everything. And uh, yeah. I think they're gonna like I said, Sunil. Why he is asking, say, RP, like as coach said, okay, go. You need to go one on one with the person. You know, there mm. is somewhere some belief is there. You know, in the dressing room, that okay, you need to you need to go for the duels. Maybe you give yourself a chance if you can win it. You know, it builds the confidence again. So that sort of a belief and a thinking or the impression in the team is because that you know there's some positive things growing there. Let's put it that way. You know, you're not you're not scared anymore. You're not uh, you know apprehensive anymore to go one on one. You know, so mm. uh, but yeah. you can't be like too overly. You know, or, or can't be over confident also. Ambitious also, but at the same time, I think there are some things going there. Like, you know, the positive I said, uh, I, I see, like, unfortunately, we will not see Asik. Asik is powerful. I don't know if you like it. Asik is powerful. Yeah. Mandi are powerful. Yeah. I think those boys, technically, maybe not, they are not at the power of those big boys, but maybe in phases, I think they're, they're going to compete with that. And sometimes our boys will maybe surpass one line, the second line, or the third line, and, mm. you know, we'll give some surprise to the, to the opponents as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure about it. But the only thing that, again, coming yeah. back to those, the details, you need to manage those details. I said details, there's a lot of details. So those details, we can't get disconnected. We can't get disconnected. For example, if I see the, what if you remember, I mean, the goal that we considered, uh, the corner that we considered for the first goal. Uh, mm -hmm. When the crossing happened, uh, when the big, uh, Rahul had the ball for the corner, then it was Sundays. I thought Sundays should be dropping in the. Uh, it should drop back in the line of you know to cover in the in the, in the line of uh, Rahul. But he went ahead. I'm talking about those small mm -hmm. details now. So in case if the ball surpassed Rahul, there's a two uh, strikers. Uh, there's a two uh, two uh, Qatari striker there. So probably mm -hmm. I don't say that maybe. Uh, I mean, they will save it or not. That's a different story. But what I'm saying those little details, you know, maybe you know that we need to. I think we can manage on, that. Basically. Yeah, I can't get disconnected, all those little things. Mm. Uh, the one action leads to the next action. So one good action yes. definitely likes it. Biggest example is against Kuwait. One good action, you know, start from Rupri to the next, next, in the fifth, in the fifth, the ball is inside the, inside the Kuwaiti goal, right? So one good mm -hmm. action leads to the next action, next action, in the fifth touch is, is in the goal. So I think uh, that the details, I guess, uh, we need to, we need to, we need to try to manage it.
uh, yeah, I, I think that's just the one of I, I'm not going to be too concerned about that. It was disappointing in the way we conceded those goals, but uh, I'm sure I, it, isn't, uh, it won't. I mean, they'll work on it for sure. Uh, but as far as the way we are going to approach games, I don't see any other way, uh, you know, because we built that kind of, uh, you know, he's always, you know, all our performances starting from the AFC Asia Cup qualifiers have been on the basis of our physical condition. We've built on that. We've uh, built on that saying 90 minutes, yes, we can, you know, go toe to toe with you on a physical level and then bring on the changes. So I think that's going to happen. It's only a matter of can we, you know, merge or blend that with the technical, uh, uh, you know, if we can find that passing move the way we found against Kuwait, that, sign, that, kind, that kind of combinations more in the game. More, more, more than technical, would you say composure when you're playing? Composure, in yeah, composure, yeah. Yeah, composure under pressure, composure again, uh, you know, taking decisions on a split second, you know, taking chances like the ones that Thapa, Sahal and uh, Apuya had. That mm. kind of, you know, playing against these teams at a, on a regular basis, you're going to be have to doing such things at these levels. And what Annie said is perfect because uh, I think the, the, the main aim now also would be to make it to the next round. We've done yes. the hard, you know, we've done maybe the easy bit of maybe beating Kuwait in the first game. Now everybody expects us to get nine points out of two Afghanistan and one Kuwait games. Can we do yeah. that? You know, and cement that second place. That would be a huge achievement for us. And then getting those games in the next round, which is, you know, is like a World Cup, a World Cup in itself for us in Asia. You know, yeah. so, so that that's going to be uh, the challenge for these boys. Because anyway, Floyd, the uh, reason I was talking about the approach in a bit, like the, the Kuwait goal uh, that you guys are talking about, no doubt, uh, it, it checks all of those boxes. But Kuwait, uh, like Mangi was saying, we disconnected. I think Kuwait also, uh, in a way, disconnected when that goal happened. I don't think some of these Australia and Uzbekistan, for example, are not going to give you a chance to have those uh, four first time uh, balls up the left flank and you know it, it possibly will not happen in 90 minutes that you will uh, on you know all of that be able to connect all those four passes together <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah. just uh -huh. from that point of view and because like what we were say, also saying uh, about the things that are happening in the middle where when you are looking to build from that uh, second part of your own half and progress into the other half you are still making some rudimentary errors, of course, also playing square balls and things like that. But you've become a lot more consistent. Yeah. Huh? But that was very evident against Qatar as well. You know, we tried yeah, building yeah. up from the back. We made a huge yeah. mistakes. One, like I think Amritar yeah, gave away yeah. the ball once. Uh, Sandesh gave away the ball, and it should have been 2-0 there. But yeah. we kind of escaped that. So it's it's going to be difficult to deal uh, get out from the back. So maybe we'll have to find another way. You know, mm -hmm. uh, or stretching. That's where players like Manvir come in, where they can stretch. The defense with maybe a ball down the line or down the channel, some that and work from there. But we are creating a lot of chances as well from pressing up front, from pressing, or from pressing yeah, yeah. on a throw in, or from pressing from a free kick or a dead ball, which I think is a positive for us because uh, you know no matter what uh, other teams are going to try and play out, and they are humans as well. They are going to make mistakes like Qatar did as well. But we need to you know capitalize on them when we get the chance. Uh, all in all, I think it's it, we are on a we are on a very uh, you know, uh, pro uh, positive, uh, you know, the mindset is really positive. The players look fresh. The players look up for it. Uh, barring yeah, yeah, yeah. anything that happens between now and the Asia Cup with respect to injuries. But the players are looking forward to it. And and you could see, like uh, you said as well, uh, Arjun, he knows the players really well. He knows exactly mm -hmm. what makes them tick. Who, who and at what point of time against which yeah. opposition. So I think he's he's definitely got his game plan set. And now the only the only you know uh, part is to now kind of watch them execute it on the pitch and see where we yeah. are into the right. next also, round. Also, it's so nice to see that uh, Apuya has finally graduated from a psychology honors course. Um, that <laughs> he's he's. <laughs> Australia में सुना था Mickey Arthur का cricket के जो थे उन्होंने Shane Watson साहब को किया था कि मैं आपको homework दे रहा हूँ. Or homework gate बना था ये बना था आचा पाचा बना था uh, but it's so nice to see that psychology hasn't um, played a part in stopping Abuya from getting back to where he belongs because Mangi um, I kind of agree uh, even though because once I started hearing Floyd talk about it 
and you know, I kind of feel that he's going to back Jeekson in that position. But boy, do you have a player who can play like that in the middle, starting or not starting? But that boy has some ability. He does. He does. I mean, uh, we. I don't know. Uh, he was one of the what two seasons back. He was one of the biggest signings that you know in the, in the yes. league, right? I mean, so Mumbai is not not. Stu- I mean, like they, they are not stupid, right? You know, to 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 pay that much of money like to to the north is like you know and, and brought him to to Mumbai. So I mean, it says I mean the boys has uh, and of course on the pitch we see him like his abilities, qualities. Uh, you know, he he's he's he's, he's a one is with the he's, he's very good with the technically. He's really I think one of the best that we have in the country. But the question mm. is the how. Like I said again, it's it's the Indian team we're talking about. It's not a Mumbai or this or Goa. We're talking about Indian team. Yeah. So you know the good thing is a good headache for Simar to have it. Like you know he has options. So we have three games to start with in January. So whoever he decides, I think the boys like I said they've also come fit and healthy. And the I think whoever he decides, more or less, I think the boys knows now they have been together. I said one or two, three boys. You know they are coming in and out. But the rest of the I think uh, the squad I think uh, are the more or less the same. Uh, you know, and uh, and he's going to use it. Uh, you know, he has maybe one or two options for each positions, and most of them knows it. And as far as I like, for example, I spoke to, I'll say, um, like we have the we share the same analyst, right? You know, uh, mm-hmm. and you know, so sure. like what they do in the two and extend, like you know, it's, I, I think they are doing quite a lot of work as well. So uh, uh, it's 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 it's, I mean, it's like I said, I think I, I'm 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 hoping that you know that. Uh, that's my only concern is not concerned, but I would say that the boys come back fit and healthy, and uh, mm-hmm. I think we're going to see a good, good. Uh, let's the result is not in our control, right? The best thing is not necessarily that they're going to win the with the Asia Cup, even, yeah. or, or even Japan, or you know, it's not guaranteed. But I think we should have a maybe a different and a good, I would say, and a positive uh, tournament like Asia Cup is coming coming January. Is what I I'm hoping that you know the boys look fine. They are they are looking positive. I mean, you know, the dressing room. Seems fine, so let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like Floyd. Floyd mentioned they want to play. Any, I'll tell you. I was doing the chat with Chetri Saab. So, one of those girls' WhatsApp group. Hai. Us pe regularly, ye apne fitness tests, jo inke latest data hota hai, dalte rehte hai. Usme coach saab nahi hai. Ye girls ka hai. So there is a willingness to compete with each other in a in a uh, spirited way. Not in a yeah. negative sense, in a spirited way, where you're pushing each other, where you're all coming mm. together for this larger objective. Now, I think even they know, or they won't say it, or they might know, but we know that that larger objective will possibly end in three day, three matches, right? Mm. But mm. the point is that they still see that. Agar yar, pehle ham jaan ke khelte the, bade team ko hamar pas moments actions hote the, five seven minute ke, in total, ninety minute me. Then now the at least their thing is that action of our pa jitna bhi ho, ham apke saath ji doorte rahenge. Ham ne apko khali nahi chhoda na. Ham ne apke liye walk in the park nahi karna. To jaise apne Qatar ke khad dekha hoga, bhai. Pehle jab ham khelte the badi badi teamo ke khilaf, ji left wala gaya, usne ball rakha, ball rakha, ball rakha, usne sida right wale ko dala. Wo quality hai, bhai. Top team ki. Par wo isle bhi hota hai, kyunki hamare bandho ka wahan pe kahi na kahi gas khatam hogi. Ab ap dekho. Qatar wale game mein unhone kitne aise kiye a lot of their movements were either down that one flank which they started off or from the middle again of course they were moving technical ability everything comes into play so in that sense physically ye ladke top pe khel rahe hain bhai bahut tagda khel rahe hain i think chetri told me the stat it was um, post the intercontinental cup he had done after chante he had done close to 14.5 14.5 kilometers mm-hmm. yeah that's crazy yeah. man yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hey, they're so, all talking. So, 13.5, 14, 14.5. Yeah, yeah. Range yeah. Mein hi hai. Z- yeah. So I, I think, think just back to yeah, sorry, the sorry. money will remember 2011, the Asian Cup, and, and uh, the same emphasis was on conditioning then as well. And, and there were guys, because we also played Australia in 2011, they were part of the same group uh, uh, as us. Uh, and, we, and it was, of course, a, a tough game. Uh, I think the other Bahrain was also there. Yeah. So even back South then, Korea. when we when we looked at uh, and Korea, yeah, when we looked at the post game uh, stats, you know, guys like Nabi and all were doing 12 and a half, 13 kilometers uh, then as well, and and matching or at least trying to match for 90 minutes. But 
what's different now or what has what has evolved over the past 10 12 years is also alongside that emphasis on physical conditioning uh, the coaching inputs that these players are getting uh, and how they are taught the game and and positioning and uh, how to use their physical conditioning more effectively mm-hmm. so the running is more efficient it's more intelligent Lot of uh, it has more of an impact as well both both on the ball as well as i mean on the ball to come chance with them go i guess national mm-hmm. team go but uh, but like like uh, like these guys are pointing out the chances that we are creating are because we are able to press uh, more effectively more intelligently and and put that kind of pressure uh, so also how the team is moving together yes we disconnect from, uh, from time to time but uh, there are also other times when we are covering for mistakes like when i think on one of the occasions when amrinder gave that ball away sandesh was there to cover at least sir acha khel raha hai wo main aap main ladka form mein hai wo tagde form mein hai wo sandesh na ha sir ha usne taan ke diya usko ek maine dekha usne wo pata nahi kya foul de diya ye kaisa foul diya aapne bhai ha aur samajh mein nahi aaya wo to pakka header jeeta fir uske saath follow through gaya uska but he's playing really well yaar yeah yeah so so if Uh, if one more uh, is fit then uh, that that's that will be a good good thing for us in the middle because it yeah I no i think the guys is, i mean just yeah just to add on to what you guys are saying about uh, like the stage you know uh, like the gps thing can be sometimes quite a debate over the time because it might be 14 kilometers might be 15 kilometers you know but the thing mm-hmm. is how much impact that you're bringing on the pitch uh, yeah. is is also yeah. again you know so maybe We're talking about Sunil, for example. You started with him, so there might be times in the ISL matches, maybe Sunil might be not even a screen, for example, right? Then so maybe because of he's he's playing smart, like no, he's not just running. So he might his steps might not be as high as with some 25 years old boy, but he's choose he's yeah. choosing wisely. I mean, like you know, he he chooses his runs, he chooses. So it's not you do. I mean, not that you have to do it when you're 39, but I think it's the 25, 27 years old boys that they can you know choose wisely their runs, you know when to run, how to yeah. run, where to run, and the, the timings. We're talking about this off the ball, you know, the pressing. Like, you know, it doesn't mean that. Uh, so how much uh, end result we're getting out of it? Like, you know, whether we, are we able to do it together? You know, like staying compact and doing the runs together, even when we mm-hmm. make a mistake, mm-hmm. if we all are close to each other, then at least we have more chances to you know quickly react to it and recover it. Right? You know, so. Depends on what the coach yeah. wants, right? Depends on what he sees, you know, his team, like you know, this Indian team and uh, the boys, the qualities, and so. Like I said again, my only thing is like when you see some positive vibe, like you know, the body language after the game with the boys. I, I, I maybe again, I think it's natural, I guess, that in a few weeks' time you're going to be playing some of the top teams in Asia, and there's no excuses for you to not uh, to feel uh, <laughs> to feel down or to feel you know not not excited enough. You're going, come on, you're going to. Australia, one of the top teams in, uh, in in Asia. So I think the boys. I, I heard in the in the, in the, it was yeah in the press conference where he said that he's expecting more. You know, once all these boys will go back to their clubs, play for a few mm. few, few round of uh, league matches, and he's expecting all of them to uh, you know maybe show some uh, you know better than better than what what you know he got, he got to see so far. I mean the boys. I mean maybe he's asking maybe also in a way preparing the Delhi no friendly matches in between. So. Use these old matches as, as as your you know to keep your uh, the intensity or uh, you know I mean I, I, maybe I'm just overthinking now but uh, yeah. so let's see how the boys how the boys yeah fair point uh, Floyd because um, it's what 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 both Annie and Mangi are pointing out that there is a structure to the way not only are you moving with the ball there is a structure to the way with how you're coming together off the ball. एंड ट्राइंग टू रिट्रीव इट अर्लियर क्या होता था कि पहले आप इधर उधर होते थे तो आपको जब बॉल मिल गई देन यू आर लाइक अ डियर यू नो और वो फ्लैश लाइट चल गए और फिर आपको भी नहीं पता कहाँ जाना है जी सामने खाली जगह जगी है जहाँ दिखिए भाग गए देखी जाएगी कौन मेरे साथ आ रहा है पहुंच जाओ ठीक है बट नाउ बिकॉज देर इज अ स्ट्रक्चर टू द वे यूर डूइंग एवरी थिंग दैट वेन यू डू विन द बॉल एंड यू विल ऑफकोर्स विन द बॉल ऐसा तो नहीं है कि आप इतनी इतना गैप है यू विल विन द बॉल एट टाइम्स दैट यू सडनली हैव दो टू थ्री गैस नेक्स्ट टू यू to then carry that ball forward to then give time to the other guy to make a move to then give time to someone like chetri to come to the game and then take it forward so which is why we're seeing those three four passes jo pehle shayad dikhte nahi the itne ab wo dikh rahe hain planned passes moved 
yeah that's where players you know like uh, like apuya uh, sahal papa come in the play they have that you have that these players play well in tight spaces so uh, it the, the flip side is getting in technical players in the team but also getting those technical players to raise their physical levels which has been done over a period of time whenever they've been with the national team camp like you said the, the whatsapp group that they have you know taking care of your diet taking care of uh, your physical uh, demands of the pitch i think as a whole uh, they've got such good control now of what is required to be in the national team camp it's only going to go forward and improve from there so that's that's where i feel we've gone up not in terms of results or anything like that that is of on obviously there and having been at a couple of national team camps having talked to you know luka having talked to simaj having even talked to mahesh over a period of mm. time you can see that there's a lot being done in the background just to make sure that the players come back where they were before and they go better than what they came to yeah point so that's 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 very good to know you need stability at that level you know you need a certain uh, you know threshold at that level to say this is what is required to be in the national team camp you can't just walk in now so yeah. so so that's that's good to see and and that's going to be the basis of results you know the basis of results because you're going to perform results is up to what we do in the 90 minutes so if, you know even the game against qatar i wasn't disappointed as such but it was good to see them make an effort yeah. make an effort that was good True. so if that continues they uh, against teams like qatar against teams of that elite bracket then it's going to be a good watch all the indian games that we see is going to be a good watch and then it comes yeah. down now now the the pressure is the opposite first it was can we beat can we dominate the likes of bangladesh and nepal who sit deep in uh, india block now it's different now it's okay can we now beat teams in the middle uh, tiers like the the kuwaits you know the those kind of teams which is happening yeah. for the not, and should happen on a regular basis so so that's where we are now so that's progress in in itself so you know gradually over time i think definitely it will be better and better yeah just yeah. just if i can just bhai, quickly sorry, add... just 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 one thing bhai uh, sorry aapko mai go uh, i think floyd has said the word that everyone should be looking forward to in terms of when you're uh, you know you're measuring success that yeah. if this team is a good watch success good watch yeah absolutely and it has i mean we've been watching the games it's been a good it was a good watch Uh, in bhubneshwar on the 21st and and we are hoping for more of uh, i guess more of the same which will put pressure on the players but just just the quick point i wanted to make just to uh, just on what floyd was um, saying is that these things have now become the bare minimum that everyone who is part of that True. camp has to do like you 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 talked about apuya and made a joke about passing his uh, psychology class uh, but that is also part <laughs> of the fundamental work that everyone in the team has to do so you are excluded from the future uh, for, for for the next round to emphasize that if you want to be a part of this group these are the basics that you have to do and i i, I know it was one of the talking points that we were supposed to bring up with stream match in that interview but hmm. we didn't make a thing out of it because it wasn't a thing sometimes players have to be given a message and it requires uh, you know different players understand things i guess in different ways so uh so it requires some reaction from the coaching staff but all of these guys realize that agar main nahi karunga to yeah. immediately matlab mere jo peers hain unko to pata hi hai kaun kya kitna effort laga raha hai kaun kya kar raha hai na uh then if you don't find yourself in a position where you get a chance to play again you know exactly uh, what you need to fix or what the reasoning behind it is all yeah. of those things and and when it comes to the technical players who otherwise in their club sides get a chance to you know be the stars do what they want maybe maybe chill a little bit in training more than the other players uh, do uh, mm. but when it comes to this level you don't have the ability to do that because it's so much more tight so the tempo intensity is so much higher uh, and good good to see them also kind of taking that seriously and, and bhai just to add on आप एशिया कप खेलने वाला है आने वाला क्यू वीक्स में और आपको मोटिवेशन चाहिए उसके लिए भी यू हैव अ प्रॉब्लम भाई बिल्कुल सही बात है सही बात है सर बिल्कुल सही बात सर बट बट आप मानोगे मंगी भाई की पार्ट ऑफ मोटिवेशन 
is also uh-huh. coming is drive 100% ki ye dekho samne kya hai but another part of motivation is that you're tasting success along the way right yeah. so it motivates you more that's a bonus that's a bonus uh, wo bonus mil raha hai aapko ki aap uh-huh. dekh rahe ho matlab aap jeet nahi rahe theek hai aap qatar se nahi uh-huh. jeete ho par uske alawa aap jo bhi khele ho you've had measurable amounts of control in all those games uh-huh. aage ja ke kya hua like fraud said is you chodo abhi wo phase abhi aayega kabhi nahi aayega but measurably you've had a lots of control and done what you wanted to do or how mm-hmm. you set up in all those games so that in itself yeah. i think aankhe badi ho jati hai khiladi ki yaar ye dekho mm-hmm. kar sakte hai kuch maza aa jayega theek hai and i think having Haan having ji. spoken to players like so we i'm with amrinder because he's in the team here but having spoken to hmm. players like akash um uh, uh jackson uh, rahul kp uh, they want to be part of the national camp you know not just for the fact of representing the country for the fact that the atmosphere now in the national team camp is so competitive so high so enjoyable that like mm. they look forward to going there you know they want to be there they want to test themselves against what is the level set at that camp be it on and off the field so that's good to see you know uh, the level and 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 you you see players like a lot of players were mentioned having a good season and wanting to be there in, in as a call up for the national team they also must yeah, have got yeah. a message right now you know that you need to be much more consistent over a period of time not just maybe one yeah. season but yeah. also another season and then if you make it to the national team camp you need to be consistent in the camp as well yeah, yeah. camp in camp out so so yeah. there's a that that's so good to have you know that kind of uh, competition at that level is is what breeds success yeah. fair point gentlemen we've hit the the wonderful 60 minute mark uh, which mm-hmm. means that it's time to shut shop mm-hmm. as well uh, mangi floyd thank you so much for joining us guys and uh, please jab jab aap logo ko time milega uh, from your schedules and from your games um, please do join us as and when you can because you give so much insight um, as our guys who are watching these guys regularly um, from close quarters एंड ऑल्सो पहले से आपको मैं बुक कर रहा हूँ प्लीज एशियन कप के लिए एशियन कप के दौरान तो आप हमारे साथ हो सर ये ये आपसे इनविजिबल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइन करवा लिया कि एशियन कप के दौरान तो आपने रहना ही है एंड इन द बिल्ड अप टू दी एशियन कप ऑल्सो दो डेज आई थिंक दी आई सेल बी टेकिंग ब्रेक इन दो फर्स्ट फिफ्टीन डेज ऑफ जनवरी सो वील ऑफ कोर्स ट्राई बिल्डिंग अप देर एन यू नो एंड बिल्डिंग अप टू दिस टीम बिन अ गुड वॉच फॉर अ वाइल नाउ अंडर ई गो स्टी मैच एंड कंटिन्यू टू क्लाइम under ego st match uh, once again to all of you thank you so much for joining us any bhai uh, pleasure is always to see your handsome face and uh, <laughs> long may this continue or at least once once we bhai fit hai sir khel raha hai bhai hamara oi bhai kar rakhna yaar i we will we'll, we'll do a football match yaar soon i don't know where but let's do bhai might be sooner than i just got a text while we were to, uh, on the show yeah might be sooner uh, than you anticipated mangi i might see okay. this weekend okay so look, looking forward to that okay yeah. look uh, we'll we'll see you see you soon and uh, yeah we played already so we, yeah see, see, so, you. <laughs> see, see you see you guys see thank you so much for talking to all of you yeah. bye 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 bye